Today I, Di, am going to be opening up $1,000 worth of art supplies and it's all thanks to Sarah Renee Clark. So we're gonna take a closer look at this lot back here and I also wanna get your opinion on what you would like me to use here on my channel for future videos. Before we do that though, I do wanna give you guys my honest thoughts and feelings on what went on that day and how I really feel about what Sarah did. If you're totally confused about what I'm going on about, head over to Sarah's channel, I'll link it down below. Uh, look for the thumbnail with my big mug on it and watch that, then head back over here. I'll wait. Go on, off you go. As for the rest of you, which is probably like 99% of you watching this video, you know what happened, you saw it, and I've endeavored to read every single comment you have made on Sarah's video and all the comments you have then made over here on my channel and your comments were so beautiful and so encouraging. Through your comments, I'm learning to be kinder to myself and my art. I'm now happy to call myself a hobby artist without using the air quotation marks. But most of all, I'm learning so much from you guys. Now, instead of me just sitting here and going through my thoughts and reactions to that video, how about we get Sarah on the line and we'll do this thing together. Ring, ring. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for jumping on this call with me so far. I think the feedback has been really positive. Like all the comments, they've all been really, really beautiful. Your viewers are absolutely gorgeous. And I just love the community you've built. This video is really special to us and we've been planning it for such a long time. And I was kind of like, like when we put this video, on our channel, I was very much the fact of I don't even care if people hate it. I just, we wanted to do it. Sorry, on that note, I've been anxiously watching it going, God, I hope it does well for her. I hope she hasn't just wasted all her time coming <laughs> over here on me and then no one watches. It wasn't even about that though. Like it's, it's hard to explain to people the balance between doing stuff like this for, con this for content versus doing stuff like this in private because we try to do both, but we want other people to be able to share in these moments from time to time. And to be able to do something like this for someone like yourself, sure, I could have just like privately gone and sent you a bunch of stuff, but I mean, I don't think it would have had the same effect for you. No. Just, uh, you know, um, and it's not really about me. It's not about like people coming and watching it on my channel or anything like that. This is really about um, trying to have made that difference for someone like yourself. And to be able yeah. to bring my audience along the journey of that to see yeah. that and to, even be a part of it for those people that have come across the people from my channel that are watching this video now yep. to have been a part of that journey and to now yeah. follow you on what is now your journey and to yep. know that they were a part of that. Like I'm always getting, I'm literally getting goosebumps right now <laughs> just thinking about that yeah. for us just to have been a part of that, even in the smallest way to know that if we could just inspire one or two people, that for me made it all worth it. And that's, yeah. Yeah, I I think the video, you had to do the video to be a part of it and to have the impact that you have. I tried to put it into words on the day, but that was really hard to get my brain. I Like, honestly, my I feel like my body, my mind and my soul were all three separate entities and I was having trouble trying to stick them back to each other. They were just kind of looking at each other going, oh my God, what do we do? What do we say? Um, but what I was trying to express and what I thought about so much in the car on the way home is it was your faith and confidence in my channel and that it could actually be something. And I'd gone through so much doubt over the past six months when I finally decided that I would try and give this a red hot crack. And then on the day that you came, I was having some success with the video, but the doubt was still there. Like, this is a one hit wonder. This is a one off. This is not going to grow your channel to what you need it to be, blah, 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 blah. All these negative little voices. And then boom, it was just this huge, big thing of, we believe in you. We believe you're doing something really awesome. We love what you're doing. And that just rocked me to the core. And I'm just like, oh my God, I... I might actually have success in this. She's just flown all this way. Do you know what I mean? That that was the biggest oh, thing for see, me. See, now you're making me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, and now I did, and I just, cry. although the funniest thing is, because I got home and the first person I had to talk about it with was my daughter. I'm like, you're never going to believe what happened. And she's like, 
It was a 50 year old man, wasn't it? And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I didn't even think of that. How gullible am I? <laughs> oh, <laughs> to me, anyway. the Sarah that, that messaged you on Instagram that might have been a fake account for all we know. <laughs> it didn't even dawn on me. So, um, I suppose heading back to the messages right from the beginning, I got, I've got i gone back through the messages and I'm trying to find <laughs> where the little hint was. And I'm like, I think because you kept it really simple, you didn't over-explain yourself or try and convince me, it just totally... I don't know if we should be concerned my ability to lie or... <laughs> <laughs> No, it's funny because in the video, we're going to, I think, react to it and have a look at it together yeah. a little bit soon. There are so many moments that watching it in hindsight feels super obvious. And part of yeah. that is our editing. Part of that is all the faces I pull at the camera because that yeah. was, you know, part of that is me being intentionally awkward. We even had some comments about like, you two are so socially awkward. This is like, I don't know how you didn't get caught in all this. And it's like, yeah, there was a little bit of performance in that, guys, okay? Like, yeah. like this wouldn't have been fun if I genuinely just kept it covered up. This wouldn't have been fun if I genuinely just kept it a secret. I had to play a little bit. I had to had yeah. to dance a little bit close to the edge. People underestimate how well we were able to, to just slide it through because when you put it all in the edit and cram it all together, it looks so obvious, doesn't it? I take people at face value. I don't think anyone's ever underhanded it. I'm not looking for ulterior motives. And there's a lot of conversations that were cut out of the video because we couldn't yeah. have possibly put the whole hour of footage up. <laughs> and yeah. and I, I was awkward. I was 100% legit awkward because you guys had just mic'd me up. I'd never been mic'd up before. And it was excessively hot, the amount of times. It I'm, was so hot. Plus, I was so intentionally trying to keep out of the way. I didn't want to push myself into your video because I didn't know I was the video. I was you trying the to... video and you're like trying to stay out of I the way. I'm trying to get out of And then I'm thinking about it afterwards. I'm like, wow, that just made it 10 times harder for you guys. <laughs> I was, there was so many things, we cut a lot of it out, right? But there was yep. a lot when we f did our very first edit, which was, yep. you know, we got this video down to, what, 18 minutes, I think it was. Very yep. first edit was like 40 minutes. And there was so many bits that I'm like, she kept walking off. Was she like embarrassed by her, <laughs> by my, by, like, I'm here trying to talk to her about, you know, the, um, am I spending too much? What's this? What do you think about this? And I'm like asking questions. You just walk off. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That I think was literally just like, I'm like, does she feel like she has polite. to keep talking to me because I'm there? Do I need to just leave? Do I need to get out of the way so her and Shane can, I don't know. Uh, it, but it yeah. all it all worked together perfectly, you know. So yeah. I think, do we want yeah. to watch it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I want this to be the perfect art haul for dye without blowing my cover. Do you have a colour wheel? What size would you get? Do you do any painting? How long would this last you? Do you use pastel? Do you use water brushes? What would be your dream <laughs> colour set? <laughs> do you have all the stuff you need? <laughs> do you do alcohol do you use mod What do you What kind of paper do you find? Have you ever tried um, Do you have any brands of mixed media? I mean, when you put them all like that. Yes. <laughs> and that's like the first bit I watched, I'm like, oh my God, am I such a dummy? And I think that's where my daughter watched it and reacted. She's like, oh my goodness, mum, how did you not catch on? I would never be that gullible. Just like, oh, whatever, leave me alone. Maybe I'm just overconfident in my own abilities, but I'd like to think that anyone else in that boat we could have we could have conned. <laughs> if there's any positions going at the FBI, I reckon you've they, I reckon they take you on. I reckon you could deceive. Oh, I don't know. I don't know that that's something I want to be proud of. <laughs> <laughs> my deceptive <clears throat> abilities. While you could work for the FBI, they'd never take me on because I miss everything. Do you have a colour wheel? I do, but my son destroyed it. I have a little one. I have a little one. I have a little one. All right. Totally missed. I've got a color wheel, but I'm still gonna buy another one. In fairness, that conversation was like a good five minutes long. Yeah. It was a bit more that happened in yeah. the middle. Oh, good. You make me. And I do believe it. I might have even finished off, and you were walking off again. You were probably just being polite and moving on, yep. and I was like, you know, my. My current one's a little bit, a little bit bigger than this, I think. This one's a bit more, po like I was trying to justify <laughs> everything out of that one. That was also right at the start of the video. So I was like super say. nervous of getting caught. Have you ever done? No, I've never done follow my clay. Have you ever wanted to? I have wanted to, but, but this would be the way you would do it. Yeah. Yeah, they haven't really got much in the way of tools, unfortunately. I'll get some tools another time. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, sorry. sorry. I, I, uh, this is a nice sneaky moment, right? Yeah. I was laughing so much in my head at this part <laughs> because I was like, great, we need to buy her clay. Now, okay, I didn't lie in this in that I really genuinely want to try polymer clay. <laughs> when I was watching this back, I've got to say, I was slightly bitter. I'm like, what? She's not going to try polymer clay? Now that sucks. I actually want you to try this. It, it is on my list. I really oh, want to try polymer clay. Oh, good. But good. then it was really funny because you're talking about tools and in that moment, and it, the video really doesn't highlight this kind of stuff well because we just had so much to cram in. Yeah. But I was like trying to change the subject. I was like, that's okay. I'll get some tools somewhere. And it was perfect that you said, actually, I think Spotlight has a better yeah. range of tools anyway, because yeah. I was like, great, that's my out. <laughs> yeah. And those cheeky little side smiles to the camera. I caught them a few times and I'm just like, I wonder if Shane and Sarah have like a, an inside joke or something. And, and that's, Every tiny little thing like that, I was able to just completely brush it off because, as I say, I wasn't looking for a reason to be suspicious. I think I was comfortable doing them too. You learn to just assume stuff yeah. like whatever. You know, you're not going to go, what are they up to? You're going to yeah. just go, oh, that's part of what she does. <laughs> I definitely had a few favourite moments in this video. Yeah. This was one of my favourite parts of the day. I talked about it all day. <laughs> Do you want to shop vicariously through me? Let's, let's pretend... This is your shopping in my basket. <laughs> I found this moment so funny because for one, when I looked at you and said, do you want to shop vicariously through me? Yep. I'm pretty sure at that moment, Shane looked at me and was like, you didn't just. <laughs> <laughs> and again, whoo, straight over. <laughs> that was my, I think we can, I think we can go a little bit. I think we can push the limit here. Surprise her at the end with what we bought for her. That looks cool. You're a bad influence. I'm such a bad influence. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> that look that you gave the camera. I love the way you edited it. Like the red face. Like, but I totally missed that look. That one, I totally missed. That's the one item out of everything that I did put in my cart for myself as well. Yes. So there were two in my cart. Mm hmm and I justified it as two different sizes, but actually it was one for you and one for me. <laughs> so the most awkward part for me in that whole video, and if you watch the video again, the, keeping this in mind, mm -hmm. the next part where you're talking to me and I'm just nodding going, yeah, yeah. That's me trying to sort of hold my cool and move on from the fact that I've gone and put something back on the shelf yeah. and you've kept talking. And so I'm like, Let's just not point out the fact that I've gone and literally put it back on the shelf and not explained why. You didn't even question it. No, no, I wouldn't have questioned it. You could have told me to go and stand in the middle of the freeway to discuss art items and I probably would have trusted you to do it. Look, I've been in your shoes. I've been a small YouTuber who was called out to do a collab way back when I was a small channel and I did a collab with Jazza. When I first spoke to him, I had maybe 60,000, but he yeah. has millions, so the scale's similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I understand the sentiment of, yeah. you just go and you just do what you're told. Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> it's definitely the feeling, right? <laughs> it's like, there's the teacher, I'm the student, yeah. I'll do as I'm told. Like, okay, I'll just, yep, yeah, all right, I'll, I'll stand here, sure, sure. Yeah. Just, okay. <laughs> Stand on one leg, yeah. touch my nose, sure, okay, not sure why. <laughs> All right, we might need to head to the front. Oh, wait, oh, wait no, we can't even hit like the pencils. I can't help but laugh. I know how many pencils you own. <laughs> yeah, but like they look like a collector edition <laughs> and I obviously collect pencils. At that point, I, I honestly, I did start to think that maybe you had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Sarah might actually be addicted to um, colouring pencils. <laughs> Slightly Here concerned. I'm trying to justify buying another set. I was genuinely like, when we got there, I'm like, how am I going to buy more pencils? <laughs> how am I going to do that? She knows. She knows what I have. And then I was just like, stuff it. I really want to buy pencils. <laughs> I don't know. And so I just shoved them in the basket. I don't even know if you saw them go in the basket or not. No, I was just do you like, know what? And I was thinking about that afterwards and I'm like, I don't actually remember those going in there. I remember you picking them up and looking at them, but I think this is where maybe me constantly trying to get out the way was helping you get things in the basket. Well, right at the end, 
you weren't looking when I put them in, but I didn't yeah. know if you'd sort of turned around and noticed, probably because you were being so polite. You just never yeah. actually yeah. looked back. This is one's, Separate. yep, this one's mine. Mine's the little one. Oh, that's not bad at all. I can handle that. <gasps> no, don't. <laughs> you knew that was happening, didn't you? I had to be so close. You were like, you were really quick. If I wasn't right there, I would not have got in. I'm actually quite disappointed in myself over this because my husband's a sneak and he's very good at sneaking into FPOS machines or just subtly disappearing or getting some money into a pocket somewhere that I'm like, I should have been onto it. And I could feel you there and I'm like, she must be there because she needs to be in the shop for some reason. Or I was trying to justify I actually it in my had head. This like gut feeling that you were almost like defensively like coming towards it. Like, <laughs> I don't know if that was instinct or something. I think but it I must felt be. like I had to be right there because it felt like you were like edging towards it with your card, and I was like, no, damn it. <laughs> Can I just add a little note? Yeah. I think it's important to clarify to people yep. that I was not stalking you. <laughs> <laughs> that all of the wonderful planning that we, that we saw was was a little bit of creative, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. We call this storytelling, okay, yes, people? Yes, It was very Sarah's good. not a stalker. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> Sarah does not actually plan things and have concerning levels of documentation on her walls. It's okay. <laughs> We're okay. Anyway, um, I don't want to keep you too much longer. <laughs> and while I've got you as my witness and the audience as my witness as well, if I ever reach and if I ever get the 100,000, <laughs> that's a big goal. <laughs> but if I ever reach... When, not when, if. When, yep. yes, not if. When I reach when the 100,000, 100, I plan to pay this forward. Your kindness and your generosity I definitely plan to pay it forward. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Thank you. See ya. So again, Sarah, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. That day I received so much for my channel, for my art room drawers, for my confidence, but most of all, I gained a friend. Anyway, let's get into these bags and take a closer look at these goodies. Now, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to swing this camera into view, give you a bit of a closer top-down look at what I'm gonna be showing you. I think I'll put this back out of the way too. So we've got these West Art round wood painting panels. There's three of those there. I'm excited by these because I might be able to paint a collection of something, a three of something. I've got two of the wood painting panels. They're a nine by 12. I definitely prefer painting on wood myself over canvas. Then I've got the wooden paint palette. I do not plan on using this as a palette. I plan on painting on it, turning it into something. Next up is a treasure trove of, of different papers. I actually went to the art store with the intention of buying paper that day. Certainly didn't intend to buy that much. I was thinking I was just wanting one pad of good paper and I really did want Sarah's opinion on that. I wanted a good paper for pencils for an upcoming video, spoiler. So we've got a couple of hot press watercolor papers. Apparently these are really great for using pencils on as well as watercolors. A couple of different thicknesses there. Black paper Sarah recommended. Uh, another Fabriano, this one's a mixed media. This one, I don't actually know what this one is. Oh. oh, I think this is marker paper, I think. Someone in the comments, I'm sure you'll be able to tell me. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is for markers. And the last one is an A3 Canson Restore paper. Again, it looks like it's good for pencil. Yeah still no idea what I'm talking about. We spotted these clay boards in there and they just, I don't know, for some reason they piqued my interest. Never use them, don't really know what to do with them. Um, 
I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, yeah, it looks like you sort of etch a design into the clay board surface and then after that, we'll do something, but it looks like it'll be some fun anyway. We have got some alcohol inks, jacquard, jacquard. Wouldn't actually mind using these for backgrounds. Backgrounds are something I struggle with and I reckon these might help. Moving right along. Next up is an eight variety pack of white Posca markers or po Posca markers, all different size tips. I think that's going to be really useful. I wouldn't actually mind giving these a go on their own, like maybe on the black paper or something, like some Sentangle designs or something. Next is a set of Derwent Inktense pencils. I really didn't see her slip these into her basket. And truth be told, I've already opened them and I have been using them um, for the video, my upcoming video. Well, I hope it's my next one anyway. Things aren't quite going to plan on that one, but we'll see. So yeah, you can see they're out of order now. <laughs> Few are getting a little bit shorter, but they are so nice and soft and buttery to use. Okay, on to the last box of goodies. Good old Mod Podge. This is another one that I picked out and put in my own basket. It's a brush, water, cleaner and holder. Some kneaded erasers, which I've already busted into and been using. Love kneaded erasers. More Mod Podge. The last one was gloss. This one's matte. I actually use quite a bit of matte, especially in Create This Book to seal the pages. Mechanical pencil. I do like mechanical pencils. I just think they're convenient. Some super sculmy, super sculmy, some super sculpy polymer clay. I do really like using this one. And with my turning YouTubers into figurine series, I'm going through a fair bit of it. So always good to have a new color wheel. One that I'm not going to let my son destroy. Territory colors. Apparently I pronounced in a previous video, I called them ter ter territory colors. I didn't mean to. I know they're territory colors. I just I don't always get my words right. This really awesome flexible curve ruler. Honestly, I think this is going to be fantastic just for trying to get a nice smooth line. Another eraser, but this one is a battery operated eraser. This one will be good for precision erasing. Another precision eraser. This one is good for erasing those little details. Next, we have the little book that I chose for my basket. It's the one that I showed at the end that I said it's a little bit revealing. It's a how to draw. It's how to draw cute heroes. And I love drawing little characters, mainly animals though. I don't really go for humans because I just find them terrifying to try and draw. But these I thought were really cute. And they've just got a variety of different real life people in different poses and it gives you a step-by-step -step on how to draw them. I actually looked at it and thought I could turn these into my own characters. But then there's some really cute ones in here. There's a look, little David Bowie. Oh, look, a little Pablo Picasso. So yeah, if you'd like to see me do a video learning how to draw cute little characters, let me know. These are some Prismacolors that I picked up that Sarah paid for, of course. Um, just my pack of prisms that I got. Never really had much in the way of greys. Great. With their relatives over there. A Signo white jewel pen. The black art liner I chose when I thought I was just having to get one thing rather than all of her shopping. And then all these Windsor and Newton Pro Marker watercolors but I'm super interested to see how these actually work. I've got no idea. Uh, looks like you get one brush tip end and then one bullet nib end. No direction, so I'll probably wing it. A 24 pack of polychromo pencils. Again, this is something else that I have actually opened up and started using. I'm really enjoying them. I really enjoy how they keep a sharp tip and they are just such a beautiful pencil. I'm so spoiled. I'm so lucky. I really, I know exactly how lucky I am that I caught all this. Okay, 
We're down to the last thing and what I'm very excited about, and that's the Windsor and Newton watercolors. I'm actually gonna open this one up now. <gasps> Look at that. Look at them. Wow, they must be flash if I have to open every single individual one. Beautiful array of colours there. I'm super excited to use these. So yeah, that's the lot. That's the entire haul. I still can't believe that is all mine. That's just, oh, that's just crazy. Anyway, out of all this, what's your favourite? And what would you like to see me use? What have you maybe never seen used before and want to see someone bubble their way through it? That's me. Yeah, I'm kind of leaving this in your hands. Anyway, that's all from me. I hope to see you next time. Now I've got to find somewhere to put all this stuff. Hey dear, you know how I'm getting you to help me build this new lighting rig and put up curtains and stuff? How do you feel about making me some new shelves to put all this stuff? <laughs>